Hello everyone, I think that we are live. So welcome to Frenchie Create on the Fly. I'm Franz Martin at FrenchieStamps.com. I'm a stamping up demonstrator here in the US. So today it's gonna to be, um, I don't know the name, okay? Well, I know what people call it and I know what I call it. It's two different things. So I call it, faux patch work some people call it fracture and some people call it faux shutter so whatever you want to call it it's going to be i'm going to show you two of them so i'm going to show you the simple one and then i'm going to share four different prints again it's a great way to use designer story paper i was looking today at some of my past video and so on to look at what I was calling that. And I, I was like, dang, I got a lot and a lot of video showcasing designer series paper, meaning different layout and so on. So talking about the designer series paper, uh, today I announced my paper share for the new catalog 2024-2025 the new designer series paper. I, I shouldn't say the new, because some are carryover, but I put all the designer series paper that it's in the catalog and the specialty paper. So um, you can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. I get all the information there. That is the best way to get a sample out of everything, all the paper. And it's hard to tell in the catalog. A lot of time you're like, we're like, hmm, it's okay. When we get it, it's like, oh my goodness, I love it. Or it's vice versa. Sometimes you think, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with that paper. And when you get it, it's like, mm, I got, you know, it's not what I thought it was. So to get a sampler or a share, so you get a six by six of all the paper, it's the best way. Then if it's some that you really like, you buy the full pack. <clears throat> So that's going on. It's a um, hundred and something, something sheet of paper. It's, it's a big one this time. So shall we get started? I see people are jumping in. Some people it's sunny, some people it's soggy, rainy. So welcome all of you. Um, here it's very beautiful, sunny, little bit of clouds in. Um, it's cooler though, like this morning we had a big frost, but um, I'm ready for camping season. Absolutely. It really helped uh, Terry before buying a full pack. I second that a hundred percent. The share, it's the way to go. So I get all the information and also I do the, the chart if people are interested in that, that's included in the share. So let me flip you down and let's get started. Okay. So the first one, uh, and by the way, they released the retire, you know, the clearance, not the clearance, but the markdown of the, a lot of the product that it's retiring. Uh, let me tell you, it is amazing deal and it's still a lot. Some are sold out, but still a lot. So this is the poetic, 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 something, something. Oh, I should know the names, right? Um, let me tell you, oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was in the mini catalog. It's called Poetic Expression. And then I did share my team with that a paper. So you get a lot of sample on my blog with that. So I don't have nothing cut here on this one. And this one's going to be the simple one. Okay. Very, very simple. It will complicated, but it's super simple. We're gonna cut this at four inch, flip it and cut it at five and a quarter. Now, um, I need a layer that we're gonna cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths, I think. Okay, five and three eight by four and one eight. And then I need like four strip about four inch long. Uh, four, it's not enough for some size. So go at least four and a half long. And I need four strip, <coughs> excuse me, four strip at a quarter inch. So one, two, 
and a two and a three and this is lost lagoon by the way lost lagoon here we go hello everyone that's jumping in okay so we got this here it's extra maybe i'm going to use it inside i just wrapped some paper in okay and then i got two by two piece of uh, paper two by two now i need we need to stamp on this and we're going to put that diagonal meaning point size this way okay because that is the way that it's going to go on our paper so you want it like in a diamond shape i was debating what uh stamp to use and i decided to go with encircle in nature uh, for some reason this set been um, i didn't buy it right away i thought oh and then i bought it and now i cannot put it away this is one from the online exclusive okay it come with the dies also uh people's like i cannot believe you didn't get that set earlier because you know it got all the trees it's just it was very skinny trees but the more i play with it the more i'm in love with it just i know it's because that it's some uh, trees right now as you see how much i use the trees and then this it's a little bit kind of a lavender and we're going to use that tonight but right now for this one i'm going to use the flower they didn't use that yet so i'm going to use the flower and uh our greeting i'm going to use um it say you mean so much to me okay so again that's encircled in nature okay so i'm gonna do my um you know what i'm gonna do my flower first oh it would be good oh i do have ink okay i'm gonna stamp the because i brought this for both uh cards pretty peacock gorgeous grape and lost lagoon i'm gonna go ahead and stamp that with pretty peacock so it's all curving right so i'm gonna put that like like this and then let me do the greeting and then i'm going to see if i still have space and i think that's going to be enough so i'm not sure if i'm going to use that bag maybe for the inside you know what no i'm going to wash it so let's washy washy so Okay, I'm going to remove this and then I know I'm going to use this one back. So here we go. Okay, now let's bring uh, which side it goes? This one. Okay, I'm going to, I got some, okay, I got, what did I bring? I brought Lost Lagoon, uh, Light Daffodil, and Bubble Bath so i'm gonna go ahead start with the daffodil in my center here and i'm gonna go ahead and do the dark bubble bed where the line of the artist is there so it make it easy to follow a lot of time um you know follow what the artist already designed for us I didn't bring no green. That's okay. I could turn around and grab some, but you know what? I we're just gonna add a little bit of color to this here. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring that up because it's I kind of like the way it looks. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow in my leaf and then the dark for the buds here. Uh oh I'm going to call you back. I'm live. That was my little daughter. 
Usually I don't have my phone on, but I forgot. Here we go. Okay. I mean, very simple, right? Look at that. Yep, I'm not wasting no time. I'm getting jiggy with it, right? Okay, so this piece of paper here, it's the same than this. Again, I don't know how long you've been following me, but uh, whatever how long it's been, I'm not one to measure a lot, okay? I like to take the simple road. Um, I don't like the to do the fast road. I like the back roads, but I got a heavy foot. So this, this is what it is. So what you're going to do, it's the same size. So it doesn't matter which size you're using to find the center. You use a scrap paper of your main uh, size. So this is four by five and a quarter. This is four by five and a quarter. You're going to fold it in two in one direction, fold it in two in the other direction. Now, you know exactly this is your center. So with that, we're going to go ahead and glue our center. And now I really, really, really want my silicone sheet here when we put the, okay. So when it come, so I got that, I'm going to bring, oops, I, this one I wanted this way. I never done one that way. So I want one this way. Okay. That's still my center. I'm going to go to the top and the bottom here line that so this point go align with this and this so then i'm gonna have my center right there okay that looked pretty good remove this maybe it's off a little bit but it should be about right yeah maybe it's off a bit at the top here we go but now we got our center I know, Scott, it's just a little heavy foot. That's it. That's it. Now, what we're going to do, it's you're going to start at one corner. It doesn't matter which corner, but you start at a corner. And I'm going to put, uh, it's going to start there. So okay, I'm going to glue about to there. See, again, I don't measure anything. I'm going to add glue there. Go right there, and that's why I use my silicone sheet in case if it pass. Now I'm gonna take another one. This one's gonna be shorter, I think. You know what? This needs some glue here. It's popping up. Here we go. Now we're gonna put glue. You can always, you know, lift your uh, thing and add more. So this is the simple way. Okay. The next one going to be the one that every corner is going to be a different one see let let that hang up you're going to say well um you know shorter would have been better when it comes to strip like that i rather have it longer than too short i said about four and a half and see sideways it's go about a little bit more than four so that's why you want it's a lot easier to have a little bit longer than too short, and then you have to mount it. Okay, now again, this, the last one. See, it looks so complicated. I know this been overrated lately on the media, and some people say, uh, did you do a fracture card? And I'm like, uh, a long time ago, I did that, but it was not a fracture card that I call it. What did I call it again? Oh, patchwork. Mine was called, if you look for my older video, it was called a faux patchwork, okay? Now, I'm going to leave that there because the glue's still wet there. So let's start building our card. And then we're going to, so this is, um, Five and a half by hit and a half score at four and a quarter. And then inside, you know what? I just gonna add a piece of this here. Oh, I got this little piece. That's gonna be perfect. You guys can hear Pee Wee. 
that crazy brick is outside so those two don't get along so maybe i'm gonna have to go risk through one of them it's so funny okay so whoever gonna get this card you get plenty of room to um uh, write so now i can save that for something else okay my scissors gonna get sticky a little bit but that's okay go in the bag always from the back why i say all well not always sometimes it have to be the front but if you go from the back you can follow the line of your paper if you go the front it's easy to go off because you don't see the straight line there so that's why if you go back here see how simple that is okay i got a baby wipe i think right here because i'm gonna need this again and I don't want to glue my paper off here we go so oops put that there now let's mount this over here i could add some blings and so on but you don't want to add too much to take away from this see so that's a faux shutter or uh, the fracture uh, or patchwork i call it a patchwork me and i think that you know sometimes we give a name and somebody else give another name and but i saw it today i googled for the name because i know i was not using the popular name and i saw both with the fracture and then um with the faux shutter and really it does look like a faux shutter et voila okay so that is the simple way now let's crank it up a notch and let's see what we're going to get okay so this one i am huh i don't have the paper cut neither okay i'm using the lavender here the painted lavender I'm going to cut my paper bigger than I need. Again, that is because that I don't like to be forced. Um, hey, no glue dots tonight. Oh, my goodness. Again, I think you guys got a lot last week, though. Don't you remember that? I'm going to try. You know what? I don't. I'm going to have to find something to put glue dots here. I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to go a little bit uh, longer than I need. Again, it's because i rather go bigger, I mean, longer than shorter. And I don't want to uh, be stuck too tight. So we're going to go at four and a half. I'm going to go at four and a half. I got four sheets. I don't know if it's going to go. Oh, it's going all. Okay. Four and a half. And then I'm going to go at is it two and three quarter uh yeah i'm gonna go at two and three quarter okay two and three quarter yeah last week i'm telling you yeah it's true i made up for the week before that is true scott okay so just to make sure you guys are still happy i just gonna glue myself see come on i'm gonna put glue dots just on myself because i don't know where else i'm gonna put them so here we go i got two there have a shot okay now let me people that are not used to the create on the fly no my good <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Uh, are not used on create on the flight. They're going to say, what's wrong with that lady? Okay, I know, Scott, you're going to love that purple, right? So this one, we're going to put it on the 10th way, the long way. So this measure four and a quarter by 11 score at five and a half. Now, I don't know if this is the right paper or not. So uh, we're going to check check whatever measure twice cut once we need four and one eight by five and three eighths and we get that right and this one we need four by five and a quarter 
and we're good. Okay, and again, two by two. So we're going to do the two by two first. So let's stamp that. And remember, I told you that um, we had that lavender, right? And this is, by, by the way, I'm not using white now. I am using very vanilla. So where is right here? Okay, we're going to use the one that, see this set go with many things. I don't have the lavender set. No, I don't. I don't. Um, maybe I will now. It's carryover. So I'm using <coughs> this one. And we're going to Do you know why I'm putting that on the grid paper? Because I want to see which way it's going to go. So then I know, because I cannot stamp, you know, this way. So then I know to go at the right direction. And you know what? I think that I'm going to use. Pretty peacock here. Here we go. And I'm going to smack that right here. And then I'm going to go with, oh, you know what? I need my greeting more that way. That's why we get two sides. Okay, let me do th this first. And then I'm going to take my greeting with Pretty Peacock. Now I can put it up. See, you want to put that straight because I would have been so darn cockeyed. Here we go. Okay, and then this one, you know what? I'm going to stamp the bottom of our card here. I just love this little stamp. That's perfect with this, really. See that? Okay, now I think I need stamp off, stamp off, stamp off. I could have done that first. I didn't think about it till now. Oh, and then there. Et voila. See, the wind is just like Wyoming. The wind is pushing. Okay. Yes, two sides for a reason. You get that right. Deborah, absolutely. That's why we got two sides. Okay, before I get a, a major um, thing here, let me washy washy this so I don't put something on top of that. And then when I'm done, my cleaning is done. So you, then I'm not alone cleaning. I drag you in to clean with me, right? So again, this set, it's not in a catalog. It's an online exclusive. It's one of the latest uh, release and it's called Encircle in Nature. Encircle in Nature. And that fit in. It's got some great sample online with that. Okay, now we're gonna take the dark, uh, no, 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 no. The very vanilla here and we're gonna put our on to, in the center it's kind of art to see but you're going to see it good so this one we're going on the long way using the same piece of paper to make our center so when you start doing those you can have a circle you can have a rectangle you just fold it in four and it make it so easy to find your center very much so okay now i'm going to go here there and there that's about right and I, before i tap 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 go a uh, happy go lucky to ear here we go that's pretty good fit there S straight enough okay okay now what we're gonna do again we're gonna start with always start with the corner so that would be a corner there and this is going to be a corner there. And this, I'm putting it on before I glue so I can decide which direction I'm going, okay? Maybe I want this one. 
maybe this one, this one won't. No, I think I want, because I get some green. Oh, well, I'm going to get it more, though. That and that. And then this. I think that's, it's not what I was thinking at the beginning. I was planning to use one of uh, the green, this one, but I think that, is it another print here? See, I changed my mind four times. Who cares? That Now, this is the way I'm going to go. So, again, it don't matter which corner you're going to start, but you have to start in a corner. So, I'm going to go ahead and start in this corner. I, For me, it seemed that's where I like to uh, start. So, I'm going to go. And I told you, some of it, those, the one at that end and this one, they could be smaller, but for me, one size, make it easy, then I can change my mind like tonight. So I just align right there at the line. Let me bring my ruler, so then you're going to see. I put my ruler there, and then see, I go straight with that. Boom. Make sure it don't go on top of my, et voila. Now we're going to go ahead and put the bottom one. And then we're going to line that up right. Oops, better if I go this direction, right? This way, line that up. Now we're going to go over here. Maybe if I look up. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Could use glue dot there, but I want to make sure it's all over. Et voila. And then we're going to go over here. So now you see how to get it all different print. That way, or wait a minute. Yeah, it go down. Et voila. Now we're going to turn around and we're going to cut it. So I want to bring your attention to something you're going to say. It, I'm wasting a lot of paper. Not really. Because this here, see, I couldn't go much shorter than that. This one, I got this. I could have went like about here because you have to go all the way to there. So when you look at, I try it with smaller piece and it was a fiasco. I could go maybe a quarter inch smaller all around. But you know what? I say... Mm, go with this it's easier no a lot of you don't like to cut by hand so what you can do it's take the first line here make sure you line that up in your track right like this and cut so you can save that maybe for something something i don't know um, and then i can go at the top here align this and just roll on see it was not bad at all right oops i went off a little bit there all is good all is good okay now we're gonna take the, oops we have to put our uh shemaine here a little uh, thing so again those strips are all a quarter inch and I recommend to go about four and a half, okay? Some of it, it's less, but then it's better to go all the way at four and a half. So now I just follow the same direction I went with my paper. So did you guys try the one with the mix uh, color yet or the mix print or whatever you want to call it? 
did you think it was super hard and now you're looking at that and you're like huh i can make that i hope that's what you're saying i can make that it's you it's great to use up uh, and even some strips sometime absolutely and um i don't know if you were here at the beginning wanda i was saying how many video i got showcasing ways to use you know your designer seer paper i do the share every year and i feel good about that because i'm not once you know that oh let's buy a lot of paper but not sharing ids to use it well i think i get a lot that it's sharing a different way to use that beautiful paper and i know many of you um get the paper and you don't have the heart to cut it trust me every year we get new paper and it's pretty and it's pretty so don't be afraid to cut what you have and make some cards with them or a scrapbook or wall decor like my christmas one that i did the wall decor and so on i mean you buy it use it that's my goal to make you you use it okay okay it's two things that i like to wash my um scissors with when i get glue so i got this on amazon it's adhesive tape uh, uh, adhesive tape remover pad it's what they got at like the doctor and dad like for bang day to remove that glue and such so that is one thing that i like or that's funny because brett always come in my room and get it also w40 you know what w40 it's in my room and i use it a lot so the only thing about the w40 you want to be careful be careful with the blades of course but it leave a little bit of residue so you really want to uh, clean that good and when you clean it might as well clean everything right so w40 it's amazing to clean your glue whatever your sticky scissors and such okay now let's move along with where is okay this and i get a layer for oh right here i see it so uh, i thought to put the layer in the purple but it was a lot more purple in this or oh, better if i go so i went with the pretty peacock there the one that i had less to try to do a contrast because if i would have went with purple I think, excuse me, like Gorgeous Grape or Island Eater, I think it would get lost. It would not pop. So colors make a big difference when we do like cards and so on. Because this, it would have blend with this. It would have got kind of lost. And I did a card, the one that I tried this pattern, and I'm going to share with you now that I'm looking at it, I would use my paper a different color. I would use like maybe black, early espresso, or such and such, because you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's kind of lost. Et voila. Is that cool? So now you get the two ways, the simple way, and the crank it up a notch a little bit to do the full shutter or the patchwork or the fracture see lots of name for this card lots and lots so um i know some of you would maybe save this piece or that piece uh, maybe i'm going to put it in that but this going in trash here we go okay now let me show where or where okay the other one so this one it's with the painted lavender this one was the poetic uh, expression something something i think what it's called yeah poetic expression and so see this one get lost a little bit so maybe i should have used even a contrast color on that but that one i think it's like more monochromatic but you know what I think if I would have used bubble bath, because I use bubble for my flower, that would have stand out a lot, a lot. Poof. Okay, 
Now, this one here was with the one open uh, or uh, slay the uh, paper. It's discontinued now. But um, I had some leftover and I love that paper. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to start with that too. Because I never done with the mixed paper. So I'm sorry here. This was full of glue. I don't want my card to glue on this. Um, and after I was done, that's when I'm like, okay, I need a contrast uh, color because I think I could have used something darker. This side is darker, so I don't know early espresso, but I think it would have been perfect. See the trees? That's the trees also from this set. See? So you get the flower, you get, it looked like those little wild thing right now. So it's a great set. And then you get all those dyes too. You get the big reed, the trees. It's another set here. Another two reeds in this one. The leaf for the fall and such. So it is a very nice uh, set. So I hope this inspired you to use your designer series paper and talking about that. I'm having my uh, annual catalog paper share. So um, it's a great way to get all your paper, see a, a bits and piece of it. It's a big one. When it's a small one, I always say get two of them so you know you don't have to choose the size. I know it's a little bit more expensive when it comes to the regular catalog because it's a lot of it. But if you can swing it, Two paper share, it's great because you never have to say, oh, I really like this side, but ooh, I love this one. Which one to go with? So if you take two paper share, it would have been good. You know what, Scott? I think you hit the ball there. The nail on you hit the, the nail on the head with green. I think that would have been perfect. And you know what? Let me see something. Uh, you know what? I didn't think of green. I was just thinking in the brown or the neutral color. But now that I see that, I need to uh, test that just quick here. I won't glue it. Oh, I need the. Just see. Uh, I think that would pop completely. Yes. One was too big there. What the heck? What the heck I did? Okay, let's see what we got here. I think that's um, that would be a winner. See the difference right now? I can see the difference right away. So before you glue, you can... Take just a little strip and try it before you start gluing and cutting all of them. So then you see what pop better. Because I personally think with the green here, that would take really pop this different uh, thing up. See, I think it make a big difference. So very, very simple. Now, last week was a fun fold and many, many techniques on this one. We add the resist uh, the, with the fine tip glue to make the, can you see that shiny there? And then the resist in the back here. And then we did the cute little thing, embossing and such. And, the, and that's, it's a side step card. The lucky winner was, or is Maria Kerger. So Maria, if you want to go at Frenchie Stamps and then send me your mailing address, I think I know who you are, but in case it's, oh, she is here. So Maria Kerger, that's exactly you there that you said the green really make it pop. Uh, I mean, like the green, absolutely. So you are the winner of this lovely card come and uh, send me your mailing address. I'm going to send this your way. So and, um, one thing, you know, I told you we did the thing to write in the back. And then um, I was doing 
I did a blog post on that to put the measurement and so on. A lot of time, I, my Thursday night, I share it on my blog. Well, doy, I could have went inside. For some reason, I thought I didn't have place inside. But no, when you open it up, see, I could have put a strip here and a strip there. Absolutely. So I didn't have to do the bat. So live and learn, you know. I don't know. I was thinking I didn't have place inside the way it folds. I don't know why. But now we know. So if you make some, now we know. So next week, we're going to have a winner for this one and then this one. But see, yeah, this is just absolutely the green make the whole difference. So with that being said, you see this here, I went with the pretty peacock because I went to get what was less. And this is the same thing with the trees. It's just bring everything together. So playing with colors, it's a fun thing. It's a fun, fun thing. So I don't see no question. So I hope I inspire you to use your designer series paper. Till next time, happy, happy stamping. And um, you get the product below if you want that paper and such. And also the stamp set, it's listed below. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.